Remember this game. It's been played by over 17 million people worldwide. The game is called Minecraft, developed by Mojang Studios. Minecraft focuses on allowing the player to explore, interact with and modify a dynamically generated map made of one cubic meter sized blocks. In this video, we're going to create our own Minecraft type game. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, please like this video and click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot. In this video, we will be creating our own voxel builder just like Minecraft. This is the final product you are seeing on the screen. This is running on the browser using 3.js, JavaScript, HTML and CSS. This is a simple version of Minecraft. You can select many different texture blocks and build whatever your imagination is set on. I have here about 5 textures, but you can add as many as you like. You can delete the blocks as well by holding shift plus mouse click. Alright, let us start coding. Let us start with the initialize function. Let's add the frame rate stats indicator to the screen. Now, let's add a perspective camera, position it to x equals 500, y equals 800 and z equals 1300. We will have the camera look at the position of 0 for all axes. Create a scene with a defined color. Initialize a raycaster, and a vector 2 pointer. We need to create a plane geometry 4000 by 4000, and have it rotated by minus pi divided by 2. We will add a grass texture, which will repeat x and y by 80. Now, we will create a mesh for the plane with the plane geometry and texture we created above. And add that to the scene. Let's add ambient light and directional light to the scene. Set up the WebGL renderer and add it to the screen. Now, we're going to initialize and add the first person control. And now, let's add all the add event listeners. Let's run this and see what we get. As you can see, we have our first person control working. We have the scene with the plane and the grass texture. Now, Let's set up the introduction screen with the texture selection functionality. I added about 5 textures here but you can add as many as you like. In 3.js, let's initialize all the textures using Mesh Lambert material. Make sure to set the transparent to true so just in case if we have a transparent texture. Like for example a glass. Now if we run this, you will see the texture selection screen, with all the textures. Let's set up the code for the textures so it can be selected and created on the plane. We're going to loop through all the textures that we added in the HTML, and set a click event listener to it. Once the texture is selected, it will set that to active. The on pointer down event listener, this is whenever the mouse is clicked on the plane. It will raycast to that position, get the coordinates, and add the active texture to the plane. If you hold shift with the mouse click, it will remove the texture off the plane, Let's look at our render function. This is straightforward nothing new here. Just make sure to update the first person controls. Let's add some background music and sound effects to the game. Also to note, I have created these two variables to keep track of game state and textures. Finally, this is how the game will look. The game starts with the intro screen with texture selection. Pressing the escape key will allow you to select another textures. You can fly around the scene with the arrow keys. 
or the W, S, A, and D keys. Holding the shift key and pressing the mouse down will remove the cube. That is all the time we have today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will have the links to the repo down below. Please kindly like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you and have a pleasant day.